smash her down, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, I guess our hunt is uh, ending a little bit early here this evening. That little fucker. I got the jet sled. I am just, uh, I just got to the vehicle and I'm just heading over there right now. Okay. All right, hurry up. Uh, it's getting dark and I want some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. What's all this racket back here? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Hello, fans. <laughs> uh, my brother was taking his sweet time to shoot a deer, so I thought, uh, Bushbuck going here for you guys. Give me some more entertainment. <laughs> Mostly because people say they forgot if I even know how to shoot a deer. Yeah, I'll see when I see the deer for real. <laughs> All right, we'll come this way. I already checked it out. She, he's down and good to go. She? He. <laughs> well, 2022. <laughs> I was sitting, uh, I was sitting right on that log there. Wow. All right. And? And uh, so I'll just give you a rundown of what happened there. I was sitting there. I had no hope in hell. <laughs> I, I didn't sitting, believe in her either. <laughs> I, no, I had no hope in hell. I said, this is the worst spot to set up. <laughs> it was terrible. It's all willows and crap back here. And then uh, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm... <laughs> Just gonna sit here and see what happens. So about an hour ago, I did uh, some rattling and then some grunting. And uh, I think what actually worked the best was he came in, so I'd walked back and then came back out. His nose was right down on my boot tracks. Oh, nice. And well, me and Shane, before we went in, we each put a little bit of dough urine on each of our boots. And I swear that's what brought that buck in tonight. Ooh, I that's hear, nasty. Because yeah. <laughs> I know it probably wasn't my rattling or grunting. Because <laughs> I don't do that a lot. <laughs> so anyways, so the snow's been falling off all these spruce trees all day. And it sounds like everything is moving. But it was like you get used to kind of that sound. But what happened, so over here, probably about 50 yards, I heard just scraping. And some, wow. he was digging at a bunch of stuff. He was going crazy. And then I was like, oh my gosh. And then I couldn't really see like what it was. And I was like, oh my, what if this is like an animal uh, <laughs> that I'm not allowed to shoot? <laughs> and I was like, this is spooky. <laughs> Cause he was being so crazy. And then, uh, so he had popped out and I seen the rack. And I swear, I literally, I wanted to shoot a deer so bad today. I didn't even know if it was a six point or <laughs> what it was. <laughs> so I seen, I seen antlers and I said, that's him. That's what I'm going to take So today. you were sitting right here. Right there. He was in those spruce trees. And then he was popping through. And then I couldn't shoot all through here, obviously, because yeah, it's all pretty, pretty thick bush, yeah. eh? So I was right there. I was almost going to have to shoot like around this little tree there. And he popped out right there. Nice. He was nose to the ground. I got to, on my grunt call there, grunted him, head went up, and bullet went in, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's probably just about 15 yards. He took a couple steps back, but uh, he was done. When I was going to look for him, I was freaking out, obviously, <laughs> couldn't breathe. And then uh, I had stopped about 10 yards short, because I was like, because uh, I always get so like, out of control when I shoot something. So I was just like, he should be here. Why isn't he here? Where are you? Where's the one? And then, so finally I was just like, no, maybe he's like 10 yards back. So, and then blood, the darkest red, beautiful blood that you could see. And then it just for 15 yards, it's just everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> it was up. a, it was a very thorough shot. Nice, clean, nice, clean. And nice, clean, no kill, 15 yards. Nice. And by the time I went up, I probably waited about 
I want to say five minutes, but it was probably two or three. I got way too excited and I said, oh, I gotta go see what this, this deer is. And uh, I went there and he was already, uh, he was already gone. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to- Let's go check him out. <laughs> You had to shoot him way back in this thick stuff, didn't you? <laughs> I guess this is payback for the elk. <laughs> so what, we don't have uh, this deer on any of the, the trail cameras we got out or anything like that? I wonder, we got, he beat up, well somebody beat up the scrape that I was hunting pretty bad. Yeah? Yeah, I wonder if he's on there, but anyway, um, I digress. I'll put that over there, we'll just go this way. So yeah, I had walked right through here, and this is where his nose, just right down, wow. right on those tracks. That was pretty well beat down here, holy. Yeah, I was able to find some good trails back here, and I just kind of went with it. Em, I had no faith in you. Uh, <laughs> nobody does! <laughs> oh, nice. And again, just lays heavy, heavy, so I don't know if you want to see the blood trail or not. We'll go closer now. <laughs> so yeah, so it starts here. This is where you shot him, eh? Yeah, and this real deep spread. Yeah. Okay. It goes right here. The tail is just spraying. All right here. Oh yeah, that's pretty pretty narrow. Yeah, that's that's a that's a hurting deer. I didn't know how long Shane was going to be, so I put the, the orange up just so we didn't potentially lose him. But again, just solid, solid blood trail. Wow, I guess it's a, looks like a murder scene back here. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> Look at this big smasher. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can smell him too, so he's pretty ranky. Holy frickin'. <laughs> yeah. What the f <laughs> Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I did it just me. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what the f <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't expect. I had no faith in myself. <laughs> but yeah, he's been down for a little bit there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side here. Okay, I'm not gonna show you guys yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, um. Ready? The big reveal? Yeah. Oh my freaking <laughs> god. Yeah, so I got one. <laughs> Look Dude, what? Mass on him. Like, look at this. Is <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> look at that sticker on his G2. Right? And oh then look at this God. fucking pomaded stuff, almost, eh? Dude, he's so <laughs> pomaded. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my God. I did it! We got a big buck down, baby. Big we got a big buck down. down. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So it's pretty sick. <laughs> so you sure you're gonna shoot a six point in this, <laughs> this freaking thing Honestly, locked down? So after I shot him, I was like, oh my God, what if I just made a huge mistake? Because I tell everybody I pass on so many deer, and I do. And that is a shooter 100%. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, so I was just like, I think it could have been a six point, and I wouldn't have cared. I was just so jazzed up, and uh, I was just so, so lucky enough to, to hire this guy. Thank you very much, buddy. Hey, thanks, because buddy. Because you just made me so fucking happy. We got lots of sausages, lots of lots of steaks. I'm we got burgers. Jerky. Jerky, oh. no suffering for this guy, and no. straight from straight Just. from forest to table. What a beautiful animal! So Shane said he was gonna shoot a doe tonight if he had to, because he <laughs> wanted some sirloins. Yeah. We waited about 20 minutes, and I said, you know what? I'll I'll provide yeah. some meat to my brother today. It's about today. time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is oh it. My. This is my first big bush buck. <laughs> That's ins I can't believe that you got this. <laughs> I had no, you probably would have come right over to my set. You could have just let him go. <laughs> no, I couldn't, I got him. Evan, turn his head over th over to this side. Like oh this. my God. Yeah, so he's he's a really nice deer. Sh show him the other way too. 
Oh my god, what a beast. Let's see that G2. I know, he's so cool. Oh my cool. god. I love, like, I've never been a typical kind of rack person. I love the funky ones. Oh, here's what I just said. <laughs> Everything's going crazy. <laughs> oh my but, god. But yeah, beautiful. We got a big buck down, baby. Big, big buck, buck down. down. We got a big rutting buck down here in uh, northern Alberta. <laughs> we got a, how much do you think he's going to score him? I don't know. I don't know how to really score there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. I just matter. know shooter or not shooter. And he's a shooter. Awesome. What a wicked northern Alberta bush deer, bush buck. He smells so bad. He's, he's been uh, having, a, having a time in the last couple of days. He's a little bit smelly, chasing girls all over the place and stuff. So. Chasing them does. Chasing them does all around the place. <laughs> yeah, that's wicked. So we're going to pack him up onto uh, the jet sled here. If you didn't see my elk hunting video from before, jet sleds are something that you definitely need to invest in, and I'll show you why here once we're pulling this guy out. Okay. You watched this recently, hey? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Emma doing it all herself like she always does. <laughs> she actually does mine for me too, but uh, she's working tomorrow, so can't shoot a deer tomorrow or else I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> <laughs> the boundary, dude. For anyone that's thinking about getting a jet sled, check this thing out. Look, perfectly fits a buck in there. We're in the middle of the woods. We're about to pull this guy out, and this makes a lot easier dragging. We'll see after. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't been in here for very long. I forgot how easy a white-tailed deer is to dress. Well, to dress what? in comparison to an elk, hanging yeah. out, pulling out an elk, this is wild, so. And not like he does the, any of that. Yeah, I don't do anything anyway, but <laughs> yeah, beauty. So that's probably been, what do you think? Uh, maybe, 15 maybe minutes? 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, Em's got it all figured out here. Let's get this guy out of here. Couple of rednecks here. <laughs> <laughs> we look rough. <laughs> that was oh, how long? Um, okay, so. We left. Sorry if my skin is blinding you. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we left, I don't know, it's like, uh, well, we're using our flashlight for... Probably took us like 20, 20 minutes to get it out of there and yeah. with the jet sled and like I said, this Jet thing, sled, amazing. This thing's wicked. Life saver. So definitely recommend. We had to go through a lot of downfall and stuff and uh, it was pretty rough, but thanks to Shane, he owed me one yeah. for a few years. So I'm he dragged all, uh, her out and I got the, the gear and then we're yeah. gonna load her up. Good to go, we're gonna load it up here and uh, hopefully not get blood all over the inside of my SUV here. So <laughs> I need told, a truck, <laughs> yeah. from the city, so. <laughs> I told yeah. Shane and I said, uh, we can both bring our vehicles cause I get the truck. And uh, I said, no, we're only bringing one because I'd rather come back and get a truck if we shoot two deer than have it all prepared. I think it's bad luck. <laughs> you have to leave at least one missing thing and then that's when you shoot a deer. When you're completely com uh, prepared, that's yeah. not when you hit anything. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's just get this guy packed up. It's, it's like minus four out here, but it feels like it's a 500 degrees after that pull. So. Yeah. Let's get this guy packed up. Thanks so much. All right, everyone. So we're all packed up here. Me and Emma just loaded up the jet sled and uh, we have our, our big buck in there. You can see his, his tines right in here and all of our gear here. So a uh, pretty small SUV, but definitely don't need a truck <laughs> to get her all loaded up. But if you can see in here, you can see some, uh, a little spare tire there. So I had an unfortunate event there at the first of my hunting trip where I thought I was going to be sidelined for the rest of, uh, the rest of the trip there. And, uh, just want to thank Terry over at uh, at Cal Tire here in High Prairie because he hooked me up and, and made sure I had two wheels and I was good to go. And if if it wasn't for him, then looks like uh, Blair Witch Project. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> if it wasn't for him, then uh, this wouldn't happen today. So big shout out to Terry. Thanks, at Terry. Cal Tire. Appreciate it. Go check him out in High Prairie. He's the man. So <laughs> thanks everyone over there too. Let's get this guy. Let's let's get home and uh, crack open some cold ones. <laughs> thanks, guys.